Good evening everybody, and welcome back to Destiny 2. Now today we're taking a look at one of the raid weapons from the King's Fall raid. First of all, we got a Dumo Chelchis, which is a scout rifle, 180 RPM. The perk that I got got extended, full bore, Sidorans, and or alloy, firefly, frenzy, and this is the origin trait. Runneth over, reloading near allies overflows the magazine. We got stability monster work, it's an okay scout. And with the explosive payload, I do believe it could have been a little bit better, but it's an okay overall gun, nonetheless. We'll be starting with that one, we'll be pairing it with the Allied on Demand sidearm. Yes, we'll be rocking double primary for this build specifically, no particular reason, but I also wanted to try out the Allied on Demand sidearm. They got Iron Reach, Air Assault. I would have wanted a different perk than Air Assault, but I suppose it worked because I'll. I'm a hunt. I'm on a hunter, so I'll be jumping up and around a bit. Alloy extended, hammer forge, and a small bore. Range master work. Icarus grip is on. Total range is 74, so it's quite good range. And I recently gotten the other half, and I've crafted it, and it's now level 34. Now, I see some. Most people have chosen frenzy instead of repulsor brace. But with the repulsor brace, the defeating a void debuff target grass and overshield will last for an improved duration. So I guess if I smoke somebody, then kill them with the sword, then I get an overshield that lasts for an improved duration, apparently. But yeah, frenzy would be the other option here. Uh, enhanced sticker edge, of course. Now, the build I'll be using for this video is gonna be Solar Gunslinger. I, I don't really like Arc 3.0 is good for hunters but I feel like it's OP for titans arc 3.0 and I still feel the gunslinger hunter solar subclass is better than the arc hunter although the arc stuff super is broken when you dodge out of supers uh, even chaos reach supers and stuff like that so the arc stuff super of the hunter is absolutely broken and OP but I still feel a gunslinger is the way to go at least for my playstyle and my preference so the mods, uh, here are my aspects, knock him down, and on your mark, fusion grenade, proximity, strafe, gambler's dodge, golden gun deadshot, uh, fragments, and I can use the caliban's hand to improve proximity knife, and ignite targets. After the you can increase melee regeneration until knife explodes, which is pretty handy. Modes are here. Fun. Let's hop into some PvP. I'll be doing three matches of Iron Banner, then I'll be doing three matches of Control. So, three first matches are uh, Iron Banner, non-skill based matchmaking, but I feel like... Iron Banner is no harder than a Control, at least to me. Even with skill based matchmaking, yes, Control is sweaty, but... Honestly, at least Iron Banner this week has been just as sweaty. I don't really feel that much difference between Iron Banner and control which is kind of ironic one with skill based matchmaking one without but i still feel like they're equally sweaty if you will at least in my lobbies let me know what your experience is down below let's go That's one. Easy pick. That's two. Got some overflow on the mag and reloading their allies. Oh, that's a fireful explosion. Oh. 
Oh, nice assists. Burner, go! Oh my god. There Oh, there's so it's so chaotic in Iron Banner. Clean kills, hard to come by. Did my explosion from Firefly do slight damage to him? Might have. My aim is a little bit off point, but we will make it work. Oh uh, yeah, okay, well at least I got a l range with a scout for this map. It's such a big ol' map. Oh, I hit somebody. Nice assist. Teammate, god damn it. Primed. Which puts a bit of pressure on me, not gonna lie. It's so interesting when you have a kill streak and uh, well, you have to kill within 15 seconds, otherwise, you'll erupt and die. But your enemies can also see where you're, where you're at. They get wall hacks with the, the uh, strike when you're on the strike, the opposite team. So they can see where you are at all times. You're gonna have to capitalize on the fact that the other team are, are pushing for you. It's interesting to be challenged in that way. Been playing the same arm, same crucible for such a long time. It's rare to be challenged like this, in a new way. Okay. Damn, I got lucky. Oh, fuck, wrong way, don't go that way. I'll be frozen. The view is beautiful and distracting. Got him. Wombo combo with the tro proximity and grenade incendiary. An assist, but it, it's got good range this sidearm. With iron reach at least. I need to find some, uh, somebody else quick. 
Nice. See what's going there. This is a big risk. Oh, that was close. Holy shit. I don't know what the push he tried to do there, but it didn't work. Oh, fuck. It didn't work. Well, that was actually a decent match. Got off a couple of five kill streaks, six kill streak. Yeah, it's good match. Good match. Disjunction. Okay, two matches in a row. The biggest maps in Destiny. It's a good thing I'm running out, run, running around with a scout, then, eh? Got you. Oh, behind me, they're spawning behind. Not good, not good. Got him. Uh. This sidearm, kind of good, kind of good. I'll take that trade. Oh, Veil of Radiance. Barricade ain't gonna save you, mate. Outgunned. You are in control. Can I get heavy? Oh, maybe, maybe. Escape. Big Ridge for the win. So nice versatility with the Eager Rage Sword, you can use it to evasively escape and also attack within the uh, Eager Rage, rage uh, uh, range. Oh, we are in a uh, grenade. Let the wolves rest. The hunt is over. 
was gonna charge melee, but that works. We lost a team. We lost a teammate. The fuck? People leave in our binder too. Not as much as in controller, but still quite a lot. Uh, slightly too long range. Hello. Oh, we're on a streak. Again. I need to find somebody quick. Did I spawn on the other side now? We're, yeah, we flips. Oh. There we go. It needs two golden shots to shoot through that shield. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I could have gotten a few more kills there, but still, that's okay. We did pretty good that match too. We lost a teammate half the way through the match, but we still won. Good match. Now, let's hop into some control. Uh, this is a mid-match join in on eternity. Oh boy. Oh, really early match too. I mean, early in the match. They are at zone B. Okay. A lot of free kills there, what the hell? I hear a lot of BXRs, BXR 55s. I still need to find my red bars to craft that gun too. But it's quite boring doing the Dares of Eternity event. Toyota Car of Oryx. <laughs> I like that name actually. Oh, you will say FK. That's why you never pushed. Oh, yes, yes. Hmm. Let's go for some B. It's mm. gonna charge in a lot of wolves, probably. Oh. I'll take that trade. Again, seems like all he knows how to do is charge in front with the melee of running in a straight line. Mm. 
Was close. Well, we're still one. Really? I didn't expect a top frag. Uh, we got ho Hobnobs with the uh, most kills. I Ilgan Freeman, 20 kills. Well, I cap. Not a good scout map, but a good sidearm and shotgun map for sure. Chaining lightning. Oh, fuck me. Oh, no, 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 no. I should have kept shooting. Yes, there we go. You fucked up. Life of a Titan main. In a nutshell. That thing is. <laughs> I'm actually surprised I survived. I feel like I shouldn't have. Oh, they're coming to zone A. This sidearm, I'm really, really, really liking it so far. Don't jump around too much. I play so much on banner, every single time I got a streak, I'm like, oh fuck, I need to find somebody else to kill. But then I'm like, oh, I don't have to. Because <laughs> I don't, I ain't gonna erupt. Kills in the night. Awesome. Oh, that that was a um, explosion round kill. Ignition. I was on a streak. I feel like I couldn't gotten a V round there, but they came all rushing in. The possibility of a V round there would have been definitely possible. I only gotten that like once. Hello? Juan? Mm. 
This sidearm. I kind of love it. I kind of love it. Thank you. I'll play my friends. Nope. Lordly Splendor Camper. Not today. Why nobody grabbing Stone C? I suppose I'll have to do it. Five pound? I didn't know he had heavy. This sidearm is nasty good. Got you. Very good match. Very good. Okay, one more match. Hmm. Okay, distant shore. Let's go. Control. Sorry about my budgies, they are being quite noisy again. You're amplified, I hear. Nice. Oh, okay. There we go. Come back. I can feel it. Ah, of course you had heavy. Starting the thing control would benefit from our freelance playlist too. Oh yes, finally. Nobody at B? Yeah, they are at B. Oh fuck. Oh no! God fucking damn it! Oh! Nice bombardiers! <laughs> Strat actually. Thank you. 
Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, let me let us attack Crafter Zone. See how we can still win this, maybe. It all kind of depends on that, though. Oh, for fuck's sake. Titan under effing melee abilities. Damn it, I'm tired of getting solar charge, especially an iron banner. Every run, everyone running around with the Titan Arc 3.0 build. It's a very strong build, but damn it, is it annoying to play against. I need to use my Titan too. Eventually. That's okay. I don't really mind the defeat. It's a relatively, relatively even, even match. I suppose the results will tell us more. Uh, okay, uh, several of a team kind of throwed a bit. For sure. Not the best match, not the worst. At least it wasn't a mercy. So that is all I got time for today, lads. Leave a like if you did. Comment down below to tell me what you think and how you is your favorite ARC 3.0 build this season is. Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you in the next one. Take care and good night.